going on guys it's Garrett here bringing guys a another tutorial and this is going to be on how to create your own kind of abstract displaced uh, YouTube banner or Twitter header and yes I did say tutorial and yes this is going to be a tutorial this thing is so simplistic and so easy to do guys you guys are going to be pretty much just absolutely mind boggled so if you guys don't know where this came from it's actually currently a style on my YouTube banner right now and uh, this is a lot more glitchy than the one I'm doing right now but this one kind of looks a little bit better so I'm gonna basically go into depth with how to do this and you guys are gonna need just access to your internet which I'm sure you have now because you're watching this video a uh, brush or a light flare your logo and uh, displacement maps and if you guys don't know how to go how to get displacement maps if you hop over to my YouTube and type in displacement there's going to be a video that pops up called Displacement Mapping Glitch Effect. So click on that video, there will be a link in the description below. It's over a year old, so I'm going to be redoing that basically, hopefully in a couple of days. So I'll be def definitely linking the new version down in the description below. But uh, definitely just go and watch that for the time being. And uh, I definitely explain how to do it. So uh, if you guys know what displacement maps are, good for you. You guys are going to pretty much be in the clear for this. And then other than that, just keep on watching. Um, last thing I'm going to say before I go on with this is just sit back and watch. Honestly, you guys are just going to pretty much chill and watch. There's like four layers you have to make. It's really, really easy, but it's just really cool overall. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a new header template. The size is 1500 by 500. The DPI is on 300. And I'm starting with a uh, black background. So if you guys have internet access, hop over to Google and you're going to type in kaleidoscope uh, wallpaper. So basically what a kaleidoscope wallpaper is, it's going to be kind of like a trippy wallpaper like this. So you guys can go through these and you guys can pick out any which one you want. You know, It works for any single wallpaper. If that's not what's going to suit you, you guys can also type in fractal wallpaper HD. And then these things are called fractals. It's a, kind of like a light source for how things break apart. And you guys can definitely use this kind of stuff. You guys can look up abstract, uh, glitchy, trippy, stuff like that. Anything will really work. What I'm doing is I have a pack open by Obey Max. You know, he has a bunch of cool stocks in it. A really cool trippy one like this. So I'm going to be using this one just for the time being since I already know how to use it. So basically, you'll pick your wallpaper out, drag it into your banner. I'm going to take this one and just kind of place it in. And then you want to center it a little bit so where the logo is going to go is kind of centered just like in the middle a little bit and then you want to grab your logo obviously I'm using my bear logo and you want to bring this in so bring that and then when you guys are sizing this you guys can actually just hold shift and then all and it will size from the middle anchor no, I don't really do that too much off too often, but it does work. So let's put that in the middle. Obviously, this one looks a little cool because it has a circle around it, but you know, you, and it'll be different for everybody. Um, the next thing you want to do is, if the color doesn't match your logo, you guys can hit Control U and kind of change the color. So you guys can put something like this. Another way to do it is going right here to the half colored circle or your adjustment kind of layers. Go to solid color and put a uh, bright blue on it to match everything and you guys can put that on like color dodge or uh, overlay there's a bunch of kind of different vari different variations sorry I thought someone was in my room um, let me go through these really quick you now I see you guys can put it on a bunch of different settings obviously not light in color because way too colored I'm going to use this one. It's going to look kind of cool. So I'm going to be going with the green and blue kind of look. So also, what you guys can do, you guys can always take your logo if it's a color and then change part of the color to uh, help kind of make it look a little cooler. So something like that. And then what you want to do is just take all of it and hit Control E. That's all you want to do, and then this is when all the glitchy stuff starts coming in handy. So you want to take it and hit Control J, which is going to duplicate the layer. If that doesn't work for you, hit right click and then hit uh, duplicate. It should be below copy CC. Go to filter, distort, and there's going to be displace right here. So if you guys didn't do not know of any idea what a displacement map is, go watch the tutorial in the description below. There's going to be an updated one in a few days. Today's July 5th, so probably in the July 6th or 7th, there's going to be an updated version. So uh, go click on that one, go watch it, and what do you want to do is keep the horizontal scale and the vertical scale at 10, and just pick any displacement map. So this is going to pretty much depend on how glitchy you want everything. 
So you have this, and this is basically where everything kind of looks like database glitch, and you want to grab an eraser, put it on a size like 100 or 80, and just erase, just like this. You guys can really do anything, you guys can do like little circles, let me pop that eye out, hit control E, duplicate it, go to distort, displace, and then just grab another one. You know, I do have multiple displacement maps to uh, do different things. So, actually, I'm going to control it. I'm going to do something different. So, I'm kind of doing like a zigzag formation now. Right? Du hit it, control E. And then let's say I'm going to dupli duplicate it one more time and do one more displacement. So, I'm going to take this one and scrap the third one. So, I'm going to just take it and I'm going to displace around my logo. Grab everything else around the logo, it's a little glitched out. And then you finish it off like this. Hit control E again. So basically now what you want to do is you want to start putting kind of lights and stuff. So I have a lighting pack, it will be in the description. You guys can just download that and you pretty much just put the light on top and this is just going to kind of create a nice little flare. There's a bunch of other stuff you guys can do. I have a uh, stock pack you guys can grab like a light flare like this out of. And... I can drag it in. You can put this into the bottom and it'll create a nice glow. Another cool effect is you make a new layer and you're gonna go to your uh, paint bucket, you're gonna go to gradient tool, and I have mine on a transparent to black thing. I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna do a diagonal. Oh, actually, it won't let me. I'm just gonna just click then and then drag to the top right hand corner and it's gonna create a dark thing right there. Grab to the middle and do it to the other top left hand corner. And this is going to create a more triangle gradient. And you're going to grab an eraser, like a size 400, and you're just going to erase and circular formations outward. So it creates this. So this is basically it. You guys can take it from here. Let's just say you want to do something a little different. You guys can hit Control J, Control U, and you want to grab the color and bring it, let's just say, a little darker. Next thing you want to do, go to filter, distort, displace, and then put a displace map on this. And then when you grab your back to your eraser, put it back to like a size 100. Harness to 100. And then you guys can just like do like little formations and kind of cut things out like that. Um, that's basically all you really can do. There's a lot of different kind of variations you guys can do. You guys can just uh, make RGB splits. So if you just duplicate it three times, you can always take the first one, go to curves, go to red, put the output to zero, the input to 251, and then grab this one, go to adjustments curves, and put it to green. And the same thing with the output and input zero and 251. I'm pretty sure if you put this one on screen, oops, get yeah, the last one this to curves, put this to blue, and 0, and 251. And if you put them all together, they should bring back your first color. Grab it and hit, oops. Alright, and then you want to take it and just hit on your keyboard to your right and to the left, and it kind of creates a uh, little glitch effect. You can delete that one, you'll have a cool one here. Um, you guys can go up with this one, take this one, you guys can go to the right or to the left or down, and it'll pretty much just glitch it out for you. And then if you guys don't want it, if you hit Control Alt Z a bunch of times, it will bring you back to your original uh, thing. Just saying. So uh, basically, that's it. You know, you guys can do anything you really want really fun to do this style can be brought to really anything and uh, let's just say you want to keep this one what you can do is hit Control j go to filter blur lens blur and just put it on like six and then just blur it and just take out some blurs just like that duplicate it if you want to you guys can go to exposure you guys can mess with the gamma correction you guys can mess with a bunch of other stuff like offsets
but uh, that's basically all you guys. So uh, this is going to be it for the tutorial. As always, if you guys did enjoy, leave a thumbs up. I'm not too sure how long this is going for. I uh, didn't check the OBS when I started it, and I didn't check the OBS when I ended it. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys like these tutorials, definitely let me know in the comments below. As always, if you guys want to add me on Snapchat, there will be a link in the description below. Um, I'm going to start streaming every day from 8 p.m., hopefully to whenever I want. Um, I streamed yesterday. I had about like 20 viewers, and it was really dope. You know, I'll be able to watch people like watch me play and stuff. So uh, definitely go follow my Twitch and then down below in the description. Definitely follow if you're gonna be active and watch. As I said before, it's gonna be like 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna start streaming. And then if you guys want to submit your video ideas in the description below, there's gonna be a Google form. You guys can do anything you want there, like vlog ideas, day in the lives. Um, tutorial ideas, top 5 ideas, stuff like that. But uh, other than that, that's basically going to cut it off for today's video. If you did like this tutorial, leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you guys want anything else. You know, really simplistic, really cool glitchy effect. And that's basically all I can say for today. So as always, hope you guys have a nice day and I hope to see you guys later on. Peace out.